your voice, your voice between light and dark. I hear its sound in wakeful hours when dreams are at rest. I hear it in terror-filled nights, your clairvoyant and heralding voice. What was your voice like as you descended the stairs of Vienna? How did your footsteps and your voice sound? What words did you utter? Did they glide through your throat filled with blue smoke? During your journey, did you safeguard your words like a magic box filled with wondrous stories shielded by the symphony of the sea? Nobody appears to have heard you. You came and you went like a wayward angel, your voice like bird songs after the rain. I do not remember hearing your voice, only the sensation of your hands on mine. In a just country, in a country where memories are frail. Courageous Elena, the birds of ill tidings have taken flight to distant cliffs. The birds of the dark sky depart. Gray becomes blue. I discern your life before you died. Night. It is always night, night that imprisons you, night with his memories of broken glass, night when women with shaved heads hover. It is night time when they arrive, pound on the door, knock over mirrors. They have come to find you. They cut your hair. All you can do is look at them. You do not recognize in this man, the eye of assassins, you do not believe such cruelty exists. At night, I see you sleepwalking like a newborn angel, always at night. Footsteps. The footsteps of men with faces like hyenas, the footsteps of vultures, the footsteps that come looking for us to rob us your life, the footstep of the Nazis, the thieves of lives, the thieves of art, the footsteps. I want to leave this city of yours that banish you, that rob your garden of poppies and stole your smile. You stopped me from beyond the grave. You tell me to wait, that there's always a new tomorrow. Trembling, I search for you. I cross the threshold of death, which is dark avenues. I quietly entreat you to let me return to my other country, to the country of life. You detain me in the darkest of fogs, and I remain in order to find you. I grasp the handrail of the staircase of the house, that witness your escape. Now I know what you do not want. You do not want me to run away. The night of your escape, the night of the fugue, the night of the escape, the night of helplessness, the night of life, always the night. Your suitcase ready, your exhausted suitcase, Photographs of the dead, the silver candelabra, the Passover Haggadah, the diminutive Torah, the Star of David, divine protection for the journey. The autumn of ghost. Autumn, like the color of your hands, bathed in ochre, in sepia, in antique gold, like you, my beloved old child. You and I used to walk in silence through the meadows of Santiago, stepping on fallen leaves, dreaming about the sounds and their ghosts. We liked to pile them up and let them be, like time, like life. I would ask you, what was autumn like in Vienna? Were you abandoned by the leaves? Were you forbidden from entering your beloved parks? During the light of day, autumn shifted before your eyes. The trees began playing among themselves as recognition dawned, and you tried to forget your dreams. Only the falling leaves passed before the solitude of your hands. 
embroidering life in Santiago, Chile, when the winter finally left us and the palm tree in the middle of the garden was in bloom, you would go outside to play in the earth, your gaze always in the shadows, like the earth itself, like a fan shielding the vague sadness on your face. You wanted to know what had remained and what had died. The past finally allowed you to converse with the land of the living in the here and now where the sun bathed your hands. Welcomed by the rain. Here you were welcomed by the rain, by the fleeting stories the neighbors recounted in their sing-song voices, all in a foreign language that embrace you. You smile, you look at the sky, the goodwill of this new world assaults your fears. And the rain washed away the horrors of history. You cried as well while the sky bestowed misty rain, stars, the damn history of the earth. You learned to remain silent and still. You heard the sound of rain falling between thresholds in the distance. You were no longer afraid. You lived here in a tall house where a palm tree buffered your fears. From here, you looked at the world. The sounds of death. I remember your coffin being carried down the stairs, the cover mirrors, the sounds of death, the weeping staircase, the small procession to the Jewish cemetery, the cemetery that is still the farthest away, your dead gliding lightly down the fearless stairs, the seal of the coffin, the noise like an avalanche, a great uproar. At that moment, I became an old child. The House of Words your hands appear between heaven and earth. They have come to brittle stars. I imagine your gaze is the dawn drawn in sepia. You cross thresholds where neither life nor death detain you. We have arrived in the land of clear memory where I recognize your lives in plenitude, in the repose of death. You approach me splendid and serene. You have been reborn in my words as I have in the silent texture of yours. We have come together. Neither time nor oblivion exists here. We are the refuge of passing moments. <laughs>